Hello everyone, good people today on Ali Yoga Wellness, Lord's Temple Wellness, we have Dr. Rondo. Thank you. Dr. Giovanna, that's not her name, what is it? G Giovanna Rondo. Yeah. Giovanna Rondo, I love that name, it is beautiful, it's musical. And anyway, so today we are speaking about the respiratory system. And then the body's intricate workings as a whole, as it relates to yoga, wellness, and where Western medicine meets Eastern tradition, yeah. no yes. medicine. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. And it, it's really a very uh, interesting concept. Mm -hmm. um, we know that in Western medicine, we're taught a certain way to do what we call evidence-based do a lot of research, a lot of studies. Um, you know, we do, of course, um, anatomy, physiology, and go into a lot of detail, right. you know, when it comes to just the entire body system. And so, but there's still a lot of things that we don't understand. Um, but we do know that there's a lot of interconnectedness with the body, uh, the mind and you know what like you're alluding to the spirit mm -hmm. as well so it's, it's really a joy to, to to have this conversation today okay yeah. good good I believe you're the first physician that I've ever uh, spoke to about it okay, okay. and um, what I understood in training uh, for yoga 20 years ago or so is that the Western medicine was catching up to believing or co-signing Eastern medical traditions because of the you say the training the tradition of basically proving it right and when you're right. in a lab you have to be able to recreate it exactly what I exactly a lot of times we want to look at gosh what we call um randomized double-blinded controlled studies mm -hmm. um which are a lot of times hard to reproduce and hard to put together uh and then there's just so many different ideas that you know, are being debunked. You know, there's a lot of things that, okay, we thought were true that are not. Mm -hmm. And I know that after being in practice for so many years, it's like, wow, the one thing that I know now is that change okay. is, you know, inevitable okay. and that things that we used to think were so aren't so much so. Right. Okay. And so I keep an open mind mm -hmm. about what works. Mm -hmm. I keep an open mind about how the body works. Everybody is different. Mm -hmm. Everybody um, has different genetics. We have different life experiences, exactly. and we go and we respond to things differently. Right. So I'm very open to using Western medicine, like the way that I've been trained, but also keeping an, an idea in terms of other forms of, of therapy because we don't understand right. everything. We're still right. learning. I'm telling you, yeah. I'm learning something new every right. day. And it's, so, yeah. it's fabulous the way that I. Uh, find out and make connections with the Western and the Eastern uh, philosophies or trainings and the breathing. Uh, and when I say Eastern, now let me even add a third part and say spiritual, okay? okay. And Bible-based because okay. the breathing is so important. It is. And you can correct anything that I say, oh, yeah. but the baby is not even breathing in utero until he's born, the doctor's looking for the breath? Well, uh, while, okay. while the baby is actually in utero, mm -hmm. it's actually utilizing uh, everything from its mother. Mm -hmm. The mother is the foundation for everything that the baby is, right. is actually going through. So yes, yes, we are, <laughs> we are doing it, literally, yes. even before you're born, yeah, we're right. you know, moms <laughs> doing it. So, um, but yeah, the, the, the child officially takes its first breath or hopefully so, mm -hmm. when it is, you know, born. Right, so, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, the importance of the last thing that God in, put into our body was the breath, breath to animate life. the yes. body, okay? Yes. If you go literal like that. And then the Western medicine, the first thing that they're looking for, because they have to time and date it, mm -hmm. is that first breath. Is the breath? Mm -hmm. Is the breath? Yes. And at the end of life, they're looking for that last one. 
Yes. Am I correct? The, the breath. Mm -hmm. But what we also do is we're looking at the actual pulse mm -hmm. also, which is the heart, mm -hmm. you know, which okay. is the function of the heart, whether you can actually feel a pulse or mm -hmm. not. Yes. The vitals. Yes. And that is what we um, really focus on in uh, yoga. Okay. Okay. So you focus yeah. on the, the, the first things that are, mm -hmm. you know, life-giving. Right. That airway. Right. And exactly. so when we... So and, explain, uh, in short, the, the respiratory. Mm -hmm. So with your mm -hmm. respiratory system, um, it actually starts, you know, nasally and also orally. So mm -hmm. you have the uh, nasal, um, or your nose, mm -hmm. and we have nares, that is the opening, mm -hmm. but you also have your mouth. Mm -hmm. And you can, you know, so if your nose is stopped up, you can breathe through your mouth also. Right. And so you go inside and then there are, um, there's, you know, canal and it can lead to a portion of your sinuses. When you go into the mouth, you go into the oral pharyngeal area and then they actually meet up and then it goes right into the, what's called the, the I'm visualizing trachea. it because I've seen it out uh -huh. before in drawings, yes. Mm -hmm. So you're going into the, the mm -hmm. trachea mm -hmm. and then you're going down into the bronchial mm -hmm. areas, the bronchial tubes, and then you, you start to separate. separate. Mm -hmm. Um, into the um, alveoli, into the, the bronchial tubes, into the alveoli, and those are the very ends of your your lungs. Okay. And so all of that makes up your lungs. And so it's vitally important um, from the nares or from the nose and the mouth going into the trachea, mm -hmm. um, bronchial tubes, all the way to the alveoli for your lungs to get as much oxygen as they possibly can. And that oxygen is important for the whole entire body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I have a question about yes. this. This would be a trivia. The largest organ in the body. Yes. Is the skin. Is your skin. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So that is vitally important mm -hmm. uh, in terms of just, you know, the overall functionality of our uh, of, of our bodies. Mm -hmm. So, so um, we're going to get to the yoga. <laughs> but... Um, uh, I wanted to ask, you said the breathing, the burning, or being, skin being burned, and something came up. I have so many questions that I find yeah, out I want yeah, to uh, ask you that are coming up. And uh, I might even do it off camera and then yeah. feed it later, okay? That is perfectly fine. Uh, That's great. But the breathing is a, it is a practice in its own. Yoga itself mm -hmm. means to yoke, join, or unite. Mind, body, spirit. Mm -hmm. The idea is to bring those all in to balance with each other. Some people just are able to find it easier through the physical movements. And then their mind can settle down as it is following the physical movement. Mm -hmm. And then their breath can settle down as well. Everything is joined. Okay. So in the stressful world that we're living in. Wow. Yeah. yeah. This is wonderful for mm -hmm. that. And I never knew that. I never knew that mm -hmm. yoga meant that the yoke, the joining, mm -hmm. and then the unity. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's right. really amazing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So we want to uh, start out with breathing today, like we always do with every class, mm -hmm. everybody, right? So we're going, we've done it off screen already as we already do. As we always do, but you know to use your tissue to, we won't blow our nose for you, okay? But we want you to blow your nose for yourself and then get rid of the paper. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll just make sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> to clean our nasal passages because another thing that I express is that the nose is a filter. It just is like absolutely. you would find on your furnace yes, or your car and you are and as what's going on right now? Pollen? We know COVID as yeah. pollen yeah. is coming in. Yes. The little hairs they yes. collect. Yeah, so it's pollen but there's lots of other mm -hmm. environments. Of course. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't call it pollutants but mm -hmm. just things that are in the environment mm -hmm. that can cause um, issues with your nasal passages and some people are a lot more sensitive. Mm -hmm. We do have hair mm -hmm. or cilia within our nasal passages mm -hmm. that is really important in terms of, like you said, filtering, mm -hmm. um, keeping the bad stuff out, mm -hmm. um, but also just making sure that, that you know, we stay as, 
as optimal as we possibly right, can. Right, right. overall. Right. Now, in this so Ohio, we can blow at any, we can blow our nose at any time is another thing that I say. Mm -hmm. it, we don't have to have a cold. We don't have to have mm -hmm. the post-nasal drip. Right. right. Uh, because our nasal is always working. And yes, in the Ohio Valley, yes. you know, it could be collecting and our body is stopping it from going in. And so the blowing puts it in the... Takes it back out. Takes it yeah, back takes out. That body. That's mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. helping your body it, do its work. It is. And then sometimes people will have certain conditions that causes them not to be able to blow out as optimally. Maybe mm -hmm. if you have a nasal polyps mm -hmm. or if you have so mm -hmm. much congestion that it's hard to really, you know, get mm -hmm. that out of there. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes we do use medications. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that is so vitally important, even beyond medications, mm -hmm. is drinking lots of water. Mm -hmm. That is life mm -hmm. for real. Yes. Um, making sure that you do take those nice deep breaths as optimally as you mm -hmm. possibly can. Sometimes uh, humidif humidification mm -hmm. does help some mm -hmm. people to try not to bring things into your home. Like a lot of times people will keep their shoes at the door mm -hmm. or they will change their clothes when they go from outdoors to indoors. Mm -hmm. And then some people will actually take um, showers at bedtime, so they're not taking things to bed right, with them. Right. And then, of course, we use medications or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, but then this whole Ohio Valley is just right. synonymous. But I think there is some data that's suggesting that since we've been in this time of COVID and having to wear masks, mm -hmm. that actually there may be a little bit of a decrease in the uh, prevalence of allergies. You know, for people who are allergy kind of symptoms. Right. But then again, a lot of people are not necessarily going to the doctor anyway, unless they're, you know. Right. So, so that, that is, could, is diluted. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Let's, it is. Uh, let's uh, get started here. Okay. I can talk to okay. you all day. Our uh -huh. hand on our heart okay. and then on our belly. Okay. So our belly is our energy center of courage. Okay. We have butterflies, okay? Butterflies, we want to calm yes. the butterflies. Mm -hmm. So that's the area of courage, and our heart is just our uh, storage of emotions totally. And you're welcome to close your eyes, visualize your internal organs as they move through your breathing. So let's together breathe in the first breath for our three breath practice. Breathe in fully, and then exhale deeply, pulling your navel in, letting your uh, chest sink, your lungs collapse. You can even bring your chin to your chest if you like. And then fully breathe in. Your belly expands, your chest lifts, your head just comes to neutral. And then exhale. Fully. Like at the doctor's office. And breathe in. Feel the relaxation around your neck, around your elbows as you exhale fully. And keep your hands right there or just bring them down to your legs to relax a little bit and breathe at your own pace. And realize, consider, accept that your breathing and your body movement has connected and your soul feels relieved and relaxed. Yes, you have unified the three into the same beat. Okay, so go ahead and open your eyes if they're closed. And if this is your first time here, you know we use a, a kitchen chair, just one with no arms so that we can do our yoga poses in. And that's where we're headed now. So if you don't have one, go ahead and get it. Or you can sit on the floor. You can do the same thing on the floor. Okay? Great. Here we go. Okay. So you can go on to your chair, okay. Dr. Rondo. And I forgot to have you change it this direction. Uh, okay. To the back of the chair. Go ahead and change it. Yeah. This direction. Yeah. You know, yeah. when you were talking about the breathing, mm -hmm. oh, that's so important. Mm -hmm people when they're having their blood pressure checks. Right. So I'm going to try to remember to tell my patients that and to do it myself. So yes, yes, I tell you what, the first change at my doctor's office, the test, was that my blood pressure went down and it was steady. Oh, it was steady, important. you know, year yes. after year after year. Yes. And uh, we're sitting near the edge of our chair and we'll do a little breathing here. 
Uh, we're putting our hands over our kneecaps. And now we are checking you out. Okay. Yes. And now, <laughs> Get the on me. Okay. As we inhale, we're bringing our shoulder blades toward our spine, which will then have our chest move forward. And you can pull on your fingertips. Get a grip. <laughs> and you can take your chin up to the sky. You're flexing your back muscle. And then as you exhale, bring your chin down. And we're still breathing. We're breathing all the time, right? We're conscious of how the breath is uniting and moving the body. Bring the chin and chest in and keep breath, uh, pulling on your fingertips. So that's the cat-cow pose in yoga poses. This is the cat the cow is inhaling moving your shoulder blades toward one another and the chest forward and the chin up and exhale back to seated forward being seated forward now bring your hands in prayer position press the heels of your hand together and if your elbows are lower than your wrist bring your wrist down to even as best as possible and then press into the heels of your shoulder the heels of your hand and feel the results up in your shoulders oh i can feel that yeah yeah good you can even move your chest toward your thumbs and you're lengthening up through your spine and we know everything runs through the spine all movement through the nervous system the central nervous system. Central uh, nervous system. Okay. Very important. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very vitally important. Yes. So let's come on back down, and you can. You might want to hold on to the chair. It's about to get me get ready. I'm going okay. ride All right. now. Oh boy. Okay. Get ready. And that ride is uh, the Ali shuffle. We are bringing up our blood flow, like I mentioned before, by tapping our feet. So we're tapping our feet. Not because the blood flow is not happening, but because we want it at our consciousness. We just know it's going. We know that healing is in the blood. And now I want you to know that it's here. So as you go ahead and stop and be amazed at your body and you feel your circulation moving, you feel it moving through you. <laughs> more aware of it. More yeah, aware, aware of it. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So here we are now sitting here, and let's breathe again and feel it from our toes. We're considering that our whole body is breathing. We know we have that respiratory system contained as it is, but close your eyes. Think of your toes first, and as you inhale, raise your toes. Feel the breath move through your body. Are your muscles lengthening through your nares or your nostrils? And your breath is going up and out the crown of your head. Just consider that. And then exhale as you bring it all back down with your exhale. Okay? So we're done that. And that is a practice that you can do for like 15 minutes in the morning. And it will change your whole day. It will change your whole day. So just doing those breaths. Just taking those nice deep breaths mm -hmm. in. And then exhaling, mm -hmm. and then doing that for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. I'll show you um, here at, at the end. I'm gonna get to these arm uh, balances and stuff that we talked about. Um, but we call it. Uh, I think it's called box breathing, and really it is four corners, if you will. The way that at the doctor's office we tend to know what that is. Okay, take a deep breath right. and hold it, then exhale. But then we hold it also. So that's like four part breathing. You might hear different things. But let's get to this other Good. stuff, okay? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's stand over here okay. at our chair okay. as we have before. And we're putting the heel of our hand near the edge of the chair and uh, folding forward. And the chair is, a, is on a yoga mat so that it is steady, it's not moving. It's, and we want it that way, okay? So we're hands on the edge of our chair, feet separated, hip distance apart, pull your belly in, and chin down to your chest, 
and bring, bend your elbows. Move them back toward your knees. Bend them that way. And you feel your low back respond to that. Hopefully you feel that. I feel it in my back and my legs. Uh-huh. Okay, you can soften your knees a little bit. Is it in your hamstrings when you say your legs? More of my hands. Okay, bending, see if bending them that yeah. helps. Okay, good. Good, and now we're straightening our elbows and see it just raises you back up. We're stepping back with the right leg. We're on our toes there. Good. Step back with the left leg. And now, unfold. So, lower your bottom. Yes, yes. So, I saw you move your arm. Okay. Your hand. Look, I'm looking at everything. Okay. <laughs> and try to keep it aligned. Okay. okay, good. And if you, yeah, that just lets you know it's like other stuff. But anyway, so now, so what do I do on a plank? This is a plank. Yes, this is a plank. Now come back to your heels. You're just shifting your weight. And now this is downward dog in yoga. Speak. With the heels of your hand, push into the chair and push your bottom to the wall. And you have more lengthening in your low back. You feel that? Ooh, yes, I feel that. Good, good. I feel that. Feel that. In the back, arms, and legs. Okay, good, good. So now we're going to upward dog, go back to plank, but we're going deeper with the back bend. That's why we prepared the back bend earlier with cat cow. So let your pelvis move toward the chair more and move your chin up to the sky as you go into that back bend. Good. How are your arms feeling? Woo. I'm feeling it. Okay. I'm feeling it. Yes. Okay, let's come on out of it. Heels back to the ground. You're doing that um, hip extension back to the wall. Is it hip extension or low back extension to the wall? Now, wherever your hands are, use your fingers to walk forward with them. Just walk your fingers forward. Do you feel your arms lengthening even more? Oh, yes. Okay, good. Yes. Good. Kind of like up in my upper arms, like triceps. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So now we're going back into plank. We'll move your left hand to the center of the chair with wide fingers. So bring it back. We're, when we move into plank on our toes more, we want our shoulder to be directly over our wrist. And we're turning toward the right. And take your right, just let your feet twist up as they just will do naturally, and you reach up. Lower your right arm to your hip. And now take it back up. Face the hand at the on the chair and bring that chair arm down to the chair. Take switch spots with your hand and do the same thing on the other side. The wider your fingers more of a foothold you would have on your, yeah, okay, arm down to the leg, all the way, and then back up, and then face your hand, unwind, and bring both hands to the chair, find your original spacing with your hands, and move back on.
good. Wow. So yeah. that's called the Spider Man? Mm hmm. And Ooh. you can do them on the floor from plank. Okay. Yeah. And then what we did is knee to forehead, knee to nose, right? So okay. move back out in the plank. These will warm you up, too. Ooh, How you yes. feel? <laughs> oh, so knee, knee to Forehead. Mm -hmm. oh. So you see how you're rounding through your back. Yeah. You're rounding through your spine. And you can just switch with that. You can keep your head down. And these are really good ab works. As you anchor in with all the muscles that are required, the stabilizers, we're moving. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you'll feel more of a full body workout. And while going up to the chair. And then... Let's do our butterfly wings up for Muhammad Ali. Inhale, up. Bring them down. And your arms or your wings are riding on your breath. So they're connected to your breathing. Billy? Yes. And bring them down. So you're bringing them up and you're taking in the breath. And then as you come down, you're exhaling. Yes, yes. Uh, we say we're opening up the body with the inhale. And then as you exhale, you're closing the body. Yes, okay. And open up your airway. Yes, uh, exactly. Yes. Exactly. So let's go ahead and turn our chair around and then do this breathing because the back of it might be in the way. Again, we're sitting near the edge of our chair. And the four part breathing, like we mentioned already. So, uh, yes, get comfortable, and we're opening our airways as we inhale deeply, like at the doctor's office, right? Big breath. Hold, then exhale deeply. Hold. Now, this is also called equal part breathing, so you count the time on the first inhale and then match it with the other four parts. So I'll go with three. So together, let's breathe in. Two, three. Hold. Two, three. Exhale. Two, three. Hold. Two, three. Think of your toes. Lift up as you breathe in. Two, three. Hold. Two, Three. Exhale. Two, three. Hold. Two, three. Think of your prayer moving through your body as you lift your toes and breathe in. Two, three. Hold. Two, three. As it releases up into the atmosphere to God's ear. Exhale. Two, three. Hold, two, three. Let's go again. And we're breathing and praying for peace. Prayer and meditation. So let's breathe in. Two, three. We want peace to move all through us up to God's ears. And God says yes in abundance. And for what we can accept. We, as we exhale, we're drawing in that peaceful energy that moves throughout our body so that then we can share with everybody. Without me talking and you don't have to hold your breath, go ahead and breathe in. And let's exhale together. Great job. Let's bring our hands in prayer position. The divine in me recognizes the divine in you and your place in the universe. Namaste and amen. So that ends our class, but it does give me a, a moment to uh, thank Dr. Rondo for showing up and educating us about the anatomy and the breathing uh, system. Thank you for having me. It's okay. wonderful to bring together Eastern and Western and Mm -hmm. And talk about mind, body, and spirit. Yes. So thank you. Thank okay. you for even allowing me to be here. Oh, yes. This is wonderful. Yes. Yeah. And as we know, it's so vitally important for our physical body to get our minds together mm -hmm. as well. So, you know, 
having this moment of relaxation, mm -hmm. taking those deep breaths, really does affect our, our physical body. So right. thank you, and you're teaching me as well. Okay, so thank you so okay, much. great, great. Uh, it, it's been uh, great having you, being here with you, and again, this is Karen with Ali Yoga Wellness. Thank you for joining us for the Lord's Temple Fitness.